one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Citizens' input. Jane. Val Harley had planned on coming to see me and talking a little bit to the issue of TGIF Argus. Uh, she's not available this evening, so since we're kind of working this whole thing, we wanted to know that we are still working forward on this. Uh, she's been working on music uh, events. We're looking at June, July, August, September for the four months, and we are looking at the second Fridays. We initially said the fourth Fridays, but then Bourbon changed their their food truck Fridays from the third, and now they're including some on the fourth. They're mixing theirs up, so some will be on the third Friday, some will be on the fourth, and we, we didn't want to split ours. We'd rather stay consistently on the same Friday, so it will be the second Friday of the month. Um, she's gotten, I think, two music groups pretty well lined up, and I think what she wanted to know is will there be a commitment to earmark any money because we have no money as a, there's no committee, there's no funding here to actually start this. And when we first talked with the board about it, they were really anxious to give us money that night, which we didn't think we should do at that point. So she's thinking it's going to take probably close to $1,000 to get four music groups. Um, the library has booked in the Better World Book Truck for June, and that will be at no cost to anyone. In July, we booked in a balloon twister guy, and he's someone we've used before, and we'll use him as part of our summer reading program. And we'll, we're working on two other events um, that will be children-oriented for uh, the August and September. So that should not be additional expense for anyone else. If so, we'll go to the friends group or someone, not back to this board. So other than, of course, Jane's going to be our key expense for the town with the electric, but there may be for the music end of it. And she needs to go ahead and actually set a contract or book it unless she has some commitment that the council thinks this would be a worthy event. And she'll try to hold it under a thousand, but she's thinking a thousand should cap it and is trying to get local count. There's been a lot of interest in the people we've contacted. They're very excited. I talked with Mark. Do you hear me? Is Mark on? Oh, there he is. We spoke a little bit yesterday about insurance, and we think we're still on the same page with insurance, especially with craft vendors and food vendors. We are assuming they'll have their own liability insurance. So that's the report. And I can try to answer questions. We don't have a lot in concrete. Anyone else have any citizens input? If not, we're going to jump back to the minutes, which we didn't do, because they did the cemetery and then they spent up again to make their size of minutes. Sean already hit me on this side, so. Oh, goodness. Additions and corrections for the February 6, 2019. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to uh, accept the minutes of February 6, 2019. Is there a second? Second. There's a motion and a second to accept the minutes uh, regular session. February 6, 2019. All in favor, signal by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Old business. A Turner report. You guys only have one thing to let you know about, but we did finally get the, uh, the farm lease back signed by uh, Bill Bohr, so we're going to go with that uh, for another year. I move to accept the attorney report. Second. Motion is second to accept the attorney report. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. 
a short street. Would you come down? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's more to it. Five hours, hours. Yeah. Oh, oh Chuck D. Witt, you are up. Update whatever you want to update. <laughs> okay, um, we should release the packet today with copies of letters from Mass Town. They got emails of the letters earlier. So uh, we're working on that. Um, there's a little misconception by one of the owners. They thought they were being fined $113.20. Um, that isn't the fine, that just is the reference to the ordinance, 113.05, the know, warehousing in there, and that one was happening. So, we're not fining anybody at this point, but um, I guess one of the things that I want to know from the council is, how far do you want to take this and where are we going? All right. All my it's my opinion can <laughs> cleaned up. Yes. It says, it says it work. Okay. And that's that's not a problem. Um, I have uh, another walkthrough on March the 18th at 10 o'clock. So any of you that are available and want to walk downtown again to see what's done or been hasn't been done. Um, Suzanne's gone be the last two times um, and we invited any of the property owners that wanted to go or meet us at that time to go to the town. So, did you say Chuck? 19? No, March 18th at 10 a.m. We just, last time we just met here and then walked out. That's the plan, and that's where we're going. Um, if it isn't done at that time, then we will start assessing and moving forward with fines and, and such. Okay? Thank you, Chuck. All right. Um, that's fine. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next thing I've got is um, just a short uh, annual report of what we did with building permits, um, what the about the assessed valuation was, Thank you. and uh, I'll give you my opinion. Does anybody else need to want one? Um, We had 55 permits that were issued in the town of August in the two mile zone. Um, the assessed, not the assessed, but the uh, projected valuation was a million eight hundred sixty-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Um, there is a two-year permit income comparison. We brought in uh, about four thousand dollars this year, and last year was about six thousand. So, kind of see uh, less money coming in for the inspections and that sort of thing. But um, one of the interesting things that we found through the county is our permits were down um, approximately eight percent, just a little under eight percent countywide. Uh, for 2018, but um, our valuation was up 28 percent. So we've been doing countywide less jobs, but bigger and more value. And uh, one of the nicest things we saw countywide was that there was um, three times the amount in uh, industrial business related as it was in the previous two years. So that's a positive thing. Business comes in, business grows, needs more jobs, gonna need more of everything for everybody. So that's 
So um, anybody have any questions about what we did or what we're doing? We know everything's a long process and I appreciate because it needs done. <laughs> yeah. um, did Chuck this uh, like you said in your report, your roof permits seem to be the growing the most of them. <coughs> people are finally applying for the permit they did before, or are the people uh, that actually put on that many new roofs? Putting on that many new roofs, I mean, if you think about it, the average life of a roof is probably somewhere between 16 to 22, 24 years. Mm -hmm. um, that's an average lifespan, so we haven't had a lot of movement in that. So we've seen a lot of failures, and mm -hmm. most of them are a result of, of failures as opposed to, I just want a new roof. Yeah. So. I, uh, yeah, I'll answer any questions. I do have one more thing. Though. Yeah. Um, we have a property in town that is out of compliance with uh, our zoning and uh, actually probably one of the most unsightly ones we have in town. Um, it is 701 West Marshall Street, LRV Investments Incorporated. Don't know who that is, I don't really care, but there are 42 trailers that are sitting out there in that property. 42. That is zoned L1, which is light industrial. That is not permitted to be out there. Um, the only chance they would have is if they came before the BZA to ask for a variance of use. But that hasn't been done. So at this point, um, asking for your direction what you want to do with it. Is that, the, is that the old office traders? Is that what you're talking about? Whatever they yeah. are. Yeah. What, they're all there by the old Ely. And oh, is that okay. I just going to ask where that was at because yeah. it's right out here next to 31 even. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And when anybody goes by Argus, yeah. they see that more than anything. Those are all the trailers that were sitting out here before our series or uh, yeah. Yeah. Alliance bought that there. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, Give, what can we do? Give them the orders? Well, <clears throat> we, can, we can give them a letter and giving them 30 days to rectify the situation, clean it up, move them on, and that sort of thing. Okay. Um, and then after that, um, if they refuse or we don't grant them any other time, then we'll be looking at taking them to court for being in violation of the zoning board. So that's money, your money. You just tell me that that's where you want to spend it. What you want to do? Send them a letter. I definitely think they should give a letter. Yeah. I don't like. I don't like that impression on the town come by there seeing all them young people. I think they need to. Be. I think they need to be gone. Yeah. You know, we have to make a decision that we're going to carry this through because oh, if, yeah. if all we're going to do is send a letter, no, you know. We we're making a decision that we're going to move forward. And if we're not going to pray, we don't we'll start. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, with your permission, then that's <laughs> what we'll do. Who's the owner again? It's, uh, it says on here, LRV Investments. I'll be doing some research and I'll find out if you can see this on I don't know whether they're local or not. The trailers that are on the property are not owned by the people that own the property. Yeah, exactly. They were they were set there as a favor to the people that owned them at the time, and it's just nothing's been done. So. And 
months. Yeah. And I understood. I that's what he was just asking me, and that's what happened. Remember hearing that all yeah. the way through, and, yeah. and then, oh, we're but it going, to, make it we're going to have an auction and sell them yeah. all off. And they've had how long? You know, all that we're doing right now is they're just yeah. deteriorating yeah. Um, yeah. And, and getting worse. Yeah. So, <coughs> this, I would make a motion <coughs> to allow Chuck to proceed. I'll make that motion for Chuck to proceed with uh, zoning or code enforcement on the trailers out uh, along US 31 and Marshall Street. I second it. Motion and second. All in favor of saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. That's all I have unless you have any other questions for me. Uh, right at this moment. Thank you. <coughs> Jamie, you're up on the paving bids. Okay. We had uh, we opened the bids yesterday. They came in pretty good, a lot better than what we had estimated. We estimated with our grant, our funds, about 1.2 million. Um, both projects came in at right around 825,000. So, uh, you know, our out our cost of that, we got to come up with 25%, so we'll be around that 200,000 range. So that's, you know, that, that's just great for us. Um, the the Westview Woodland Trail project, that all looks good, no problems with that. The other one we're just looking into with the Colonial States, with uh, the depth that that is. So we just want to make sure we get it right. So um, we don't need to make a decision on it tonight or anything. We're going to look into it. Probably the next board meeting is when we'll have to make a decision. So. That's really all I have for right now. Okay. Being our non for profit use, everybody has a copy of the non for profit groups that use the BNR building no cost. Uh, there's a motion to accept those and allow them to do it again for 2019. We've done this every year that I've been on. Allow it to happen. I make a motion that the nonprofit organization use of the building, B and R building for 2019. I'll second. Is there any discussion on this? <clears throat> if not, all in favor signify by saying aye to allow the nonprofit organizations to use the B and R building. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Other old business? I guess this is where Jane's question comes in. <coughs> On, uh, I guess what you're asking for is a thousand dollars, but if you get private donations, then you don't need our thousand dollars. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and it may depend on what she can secure, you know. Mm -hmm. She's not really certain what different people want to charge. Um, but she would hope it would not be above a thousand. And if we can hold it under, sure, we're all ready to do that. Mark, do you have anything you want to say? I'll give a hundred to get nine more people. Well, I was looking at Randy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, we were kind of doing their insurance through the ACDC, so I was looking at Randy. Let us, let me bring it up at one of our board meetings and see if we just can't cover that. Yeah. So we've kind of tried to work with them and get them going. So we'll see if we can get on that with them. That'll probably be easier for them anyway, something to run the money through. So. Okay. But. Yeah. We're so trying to help them to get it going. Is it just event liability insurance that you're looking to try to secure is that no actually we've got we ended up taking care of that on our our actual liability insurance policy we added that to it that was the first original thing this I think they're trying to get some what you say Jane some music and it's just some music. different things yeah entertainment things. So, I'm, I'm clear about the entertainment and the money for that but just I remember from last year the concern I think that I certainly had was liability insurance making sure that Mm -hmm. You guys were covered. Whoever's going to run this thing, sponsor it. But you're saying that that liability has been secured. Yeah, we want okay. the, the ACDC ended up voting to cover to more or less be their sponsoring agency, okay. and we ran that through our liability insurance company. Very so. good. Very good. 
Am I correct? If anybody wants to donate to this, they can donate to ACDC in this for this? I guess you could designate it. That's what you were looking for. Okay. Or get to the, I, we'll figure that out. <laughs> yeah. She How just made me commit to 100 bucks. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, and there's, there's different, I know Bourbon has had different people come forward from the community and sponsor different parts of their events. <clears throat> That's certainly a great idea, and I think it's, if we can do that, that would be wonderful. Um, Valerie hasn't been able to go as, as quickly as she would like to, and we all understand that, and so we've kind of, we're still working on it, but it's not as concrete as we'd like, so I think it's good that we aren't trying to start the first one until June, probably. And, and, uh, but the people at, that we contacted, the vendors, and I contacted, I walked the last uh, Friday, food truck Friday, and um, handed out letters to all the vendors. They were very supportive, and that was a crummy weather. Well, that one was a, a rain, but there, and there weren't as many vendors there, but the crafters were excited, the food people were excited, so. We're excited. Just the same. <laughs> Other old business, and this has been brought up, and whenever we talk about parking, it's a real pain in the keister. The downtown apartments upstairs, where are these people supposed to park? Are they supposed to have their own off street parking like a house? I can't remember. I, say, no. I thought they used to have to park, but this is probably so many years ago. Do you have you seen this? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But if you but look you can't at the size of the day, those lots, you can't plow down there's they can't get the no place for them to park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if they can't park behind, do the they the park in the town parking lot, not on the street? If you designate it to be done that way, I would say they would have to. If there would be no overnight parking on the street, can you you can post that at certain hours that there's no can, parking. You can post it as no overnight parking on the streets, which is going to make them move to the parking lots. Mm -hmm. right, that's what we want to do. Two-hour parking all the time. Or we're looking at snow removal and street cleaning. Period. Yes. So those are the two what things we're we'll looking at. Well, then, as the downtown begins to clean and rejuvenate, you're going to have more residents that will be in those areas that are going to have to have places to park. So now is a good time to decide what you want them to do. Okay, keep that in the back of your mind. This is the private public. But there's a lot of overnight parking taking place that is not bank related. So Correct. I don't know yeah, whether they there. do they rent out. I have no clue. Man. <laughs> they don't they also, they don't I don't think there's an overabundance of people parking there right. to go to the bank. Okay. Well, let's check into. I mean, I know Rochester has signs up that they from point A to point B and man. They can get ahead of the game. So, <coughs> plus, that I think it'd even be easier for you guys. If there's no parking uptown, you don't have to worry about it. Like yeah. 11 to 9 or something like that. Well, I mean, it's like 3 in the morning till yeah. 5 in the morning, in the morning or 2 in the morning till 5 in the morning. We can run. Yeah, we yeah. can the bar closes. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's try to come up with something to get that actual going. I think you're best with that on that one, just no overnight parking. But you need hours. Yeah, yeah. 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 When does that happen? What is overnight start? You don't have. Well, it's that's different to different people. Right. Yes, that's that's true. true. We'll get something and bring it to the next meeting then, okay. so we can go with that route because it's, it needs. It's been an ongoing issue, and like I said, for the I don't want to say the pressure, the progress that we're making with Chuck, we need to. Spearhead a lot of this stuff and get it, get it yeah. going. Any other old business? I was Mark slow. Vanderwill. She asked me if I wasn't on there and I was slow. Uh, I'm hoping everybody up there got an email from me. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> we don't have to decide that tonight. I think we need to discuss that here in the near future, though, pretty quick. Um, thoughts on that? That's something we don't have. As I explained, uh, I kind of got drug into that. Uh, and the thoughts in that was, this person, when they explained it to me, we give all to all these other big businesses, but we don't try to attract small businesses. So I don't have a good answer. I'm just out there researching what other places have done, and I'm turning it over to you. So uh, what I put together was kind of a mix. I think there were two, Anderson, and there was one other town I'd gotten that from. Well, everything I put to you was from one of them. So kind of look that over, see if either of those work, you like, you don't like, and we'll go from there. So, and I can try to let, uh, I'd rather come up with a total program than try to just do one by one as they come in. Uh, this could be something we do this year and never have to deal with it for three or four years. I'm, but, but at least if it's in place, uh, we've got something to fall back on. He's talking about downtown business incidents, so small business, as far as people, if you want to know what we're talking about. Yeah, sorry. We're talking about a downtown revitalization program for buildings and an actual downtown business program. So, okay, thanks, Mark. Anything else? No, we're going to go to new business, ordinance 2019 street CCD fund rate. We discussed it in the public hearing that it's to raise it to the 0.5. Um, it will help bring in a few more tax dollars for capital investment in the town. Um, I do need, if you do decide to pass it tonight, um, if you could please pass it on all three readings, that way we can move on with. Um, advertising it in the paper again. We have advertised it once, um, but to advertise it, and I also need to get it to the auditor so that we can stay on our timetable that I did send to you. All right. Make a motion that we suspend the rules. Ask ordinance 2019-3 CCD fund on all three meetings. Is there a second? One second. There's a motion and a second to suspend the rules and pass ordinance 2019-3 CCD fund on all three readings. Is there any other discussion? Not all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Any other new business? Now we'll move on to department head reports. Police Department, Corey. So we're still waiting on the charger. But if you remember right, um, it said once we got the charger, we we would outfit it with the law enforcement fund. So we've been starting to plan that. Um, so guess what I would like for you guys to do is go ahead and give me the go ahead because some of the stuff's going to be all together. We're going to have R and B put the lights and all that stuff. And we have to have new radio, new computer, and. Some of that stuff's going to be over the twenty-five hundred dollars, like the you know, like the computer's going to be closed. But if you add everything in together, it might be over. Well, it's going to be over. Are you following me? So I would just like to go ahead to go ahead and, from you guys to say whatever you got to put in it, all it's reasonable. Go ahead. And, does that make sense? If you would, I don't know what I mean. I got an estimate on some of the stuff, but if you add everything together, it's going to be over twenty. They follow me. Like the computer right now is going to be the computer alone is over two thousand dollars. If you add the printer in, that's another five hundred dollars in the scanner. There's a lot. You see what I'm saying? So if you would go ahead and give me a blessing. <laughs> Are you begging? No, it's, I mean I, unless you want me to come. I make the motion to go ahead and let Corey go ahead and outfit the vehicle since it's over his twenty five hundred dollars. Can we limit motion? And it's going to be all together. We're probably looking at eight thousand dollars or so or more. So, we Corey, do we have any funds in your the law enforcement funds? What we're going to use? Yeah. Can you use some of that? Oh, we're use all of it. Okay. Well, not all the fund, but right. We'll outfit with all of that. Um. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Thank you. We're still waiting on proof for our, our new officer Racker. He's kind of in limbo right now, so. Once we hear from that, 
we'll get him going. And the other thing I have, I don't know if you're able to give this to you, is the, the superintendent, talk to the superintendent. We have the signed and blessed copy from the school, and I believe they even had their school board meeting and voted aye. Well, do you need this? or? I'd like Derek to review it. Derek. <laughs> That's that. That's sign. Yep, it's signed from the school and myself. So you're ready to go with that? We're ready. At some point, if you could just get me a copy of it, I'll just stick it in the file and that'll be right here. Good to have. I'll take it. Okay. School didn't have any problems with that. No, it'll be done on it. Good to go. Very good. Thanks, Corey. Yep. Yeah. yeah, there I voted on it in the school board meeting. Do we need to vote on it? Guys, you're waiting on my memory, but I thought that yeah, we did. Yeah, we did wait to go on them. Uh, what? We voted on. We voted on the format of the contract. I want to say weeks, if not months ago. Mm -hmm. and we've been waiting on the school to sign the contract. Right. right that's correct. the. Yeah. That's the. We're just making sure that we've done everything on our end. As oh well. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep, yeah, we're good. And that's all. I, that's all I have right now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, thanks, Corey. Utilities. Uh, you have my report in there. Um, already talked about the paving, but we've got some work to do before we can do the paving. Um, Westview Corp, we need to finish the storm out. I've got that scheduled for early April right now, so that's probably when we'll get started. Um, their thing is Colonial States found out a lot of the taps weren't put in, so we're going to get all the taps. The main's under the road, so I don't want to have to dig that up again once it's done. So we're going to get all the taps out into the grass, so it's all ready to go. We got to do water, sewer, everything. So no big deal. We're just we'll be digging for a while and get it'll be a mess out there probably. But um, then the other issue we've had is the substation at Dewey uh, had some maintenance done on there. We found some problems there. We've already corrected everything's back online, so just minor things, but taking care of them. It's really all I have, unless you have any questions. Anyone have any questions for Jamie? <coughs> you got your sewer, your wastewater, and your water reports in there also? Yep. She did say now, I want you to look this. She was younger, she would get on the fire department. She told me that. She's found that was interesting now. <laughs> <laughs> I picked her up on that. Dang it! <laughs> I picked her up on that. You can still get on. It doesn't say you have to fight fires to be on. <laughs> Brandy. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, Mark. Thanks. EMS, Sarah. Also have mine in front of you. It's pretty self-explanatory. I did break it down as far as what the call types were. Um, again, like we discussed in the past, the disposition of the calls gives you more of an idea. Um, we do not charge for the no patient and the no re or the refusal. So the transport you see there with the numbers. That's how much how many runs we've done. Um, and as far as the vehicle number, it's self-explanatory. Why? Argus one got all the runs. We haven't rotated. Um, I did call Fire Services Incorporated today, and they said probably Friday we'll be getting that back. It needs to go up front alignment, and then Argus one needs to we need to look at Anna Freeze, but we should get both of them back in to service within hopefully the month, the end of the month. So. Um, and Corey had mentioned about the, his stuff, and it reminded me, is that something that I need to do now? Ask you if at the next meeting I can present you with quotes and things for a cot? Yes. So can I do that? 
I'm gonna go ahead and do some of my research and find out what prices would be for a new stretcher for our ambulance. Is that for August one or August two? I, I, I would say we'd probably put it in Argus too. Diesel's cold blood and Okay, thanks Sarah. <coughs> Is there a motion to accept the department head of force if nobody has anything else? I'll make a motion to accept all department head of force. There's a motion. Second. And a second. Any other discussion? Not all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Queens. Ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> I finally got him. Oh. <laughs> finally got it to work. <laughs> Hit the wrong button. Go ahead. You're all right. The total docket for uh, February 20th is $91,964.03. It's claims number 174 through 206. The top five claims are as follows. Number one is payroll number three at $36,095.14. Number two is a donation to the Argus Kit Summer Kickoff Festival for $12,000. Number three is the <laughs> Indiana Department of Revenue sales tax at $8,162.53. Number four is the Federal Reserve withholding tax at $7,424.13. Number five is the Indiana Department of Revenue withholding tax at $3,524.52. The top five claims total $67,206.32 and represent 82% of the total docket. It's your motion to accept claims. I move to accept claims 174 through 206. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion or questions? I will tell you that, um, and I, I'm just pointing this out, but if you notice that my check numbers are out of sequence, when I cleaned out the store, I went from one box on top of the other and um, got these checks out of sequence, so I apologize for that. They are back in sequence now. So. All in favor of signifying by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carrying. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Suzanne. Okay, at our task force meeting last week, we were looking at our comprehensive plan, which was just under two years. <laughs> and we were noting the achievements that we've already done. And some of those things are fiber in Argus, our manufacturing buildings, marketing video and brochure, and working with a marketer. Our plan commission, it's meeting regularly and it's also being educated <coughs> on their duties, what they're to do. <laughs> Festivals and events are increasing within the town. Those were all things that we had mentioned in the plan that needed to be done, and those are the things we've achieved. Several things are in process, the community center, the fairgrounds, colonial estates, wayfinding signs, those are in process. And there's other things that are mentally in process, but maybe not quite physically yet. So I think we've done a great job in working on our plan and making progress. Go ahead and read that. Okay, I will. Just one moment. One other thing. <laughs> we've mentioned shopping Argus, giving business here first. And Carrie Langdon, Carrie Martin, our marketing person, was at the meeting. Well, you're talking about a business directory. How can we shop Argus if we don't even know all the businesses that we have within our community? <coughs> and we've just discussed this before about having a business directory. And she said, that's something I can work on. So Carrie is going to be starting to work on a business directory for the town of Argus. That will give us a listing of everything we have. Hopefully we can put it on our town website at some point. But I think that will be a great asset. And it'll let our businesses know we appreciate them. So. Good to be here. And at the meeting, 
in our plan, we have the vision for Argus. And I just printed this off and framed it. And I had it at our meeting. I'll read it in a moment. But Sean had the idea, which I think is great, to blow this up and put it back here on our wall so we can see what Argus is about. The town of Argus will embrace its small town values of being a safe, friendly, rural town with high quality parks, public services, and school system while promoting itself as a vibrant community that efficiently balances growth, builds a prosperous economy, creates places that enhances the quality of life, and provides transportation choices that promote active, healthy lifestyles. So that is directly from our comprehensive plan. That's it. And again, I want to thank Suzanne for, she's been spearheading these meetings up on the past four. I know it started out with a very large group, and like everything, people have fizzled in and fizzled out. She's got a handful that keep showing up, so. Um, it turned out to be a kind of a, I won't say a jab, but a, um, a to spur everybody on. And it's, it's, it's helped the council in town immensely, I think, I think that because it's a, it's not really a town meeting, but it's a, it's a committee meeting that's come a long way and, and pushed us into moving on, so. We often brainstorm. Yeah. <laughs> Do a lot of brainstorming. And it's not just people in town, it can be out of town, as long as you're in the artist community. And then when we get ideas we think need to be moved on, we bring them here, we develop them park, wherever, because we don't have any official authority. I don't, I don't know if we need to make a resolution or whatever to have Lisa get that blown up and put it in a nice frame above us, but if we do, I'd like to make that resolution or authorize her to go ahead and do that. I think it's that. I need you to buy the frame. <laughs> Chuck, if I could make a suggestion, rather than blowing that up and putting it in a frame, you can have <clears throat> take that and have it all cut out, and then you can put the letters right onto the wall. And oh, uh, yeah. look yeah. even more professional. Oh, like a stencil? Yes, it'll look like it's been stenciled. Mm -hmm. We knew we paid you big bucks for something. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Chuck's going to take care of that for you. Yeah, that Chuck's going to have that for you. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Okay, 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 I'm going to do that. Ok